Cause it travel cause the glue. Oh my niggas big big and cheese. <sighs> tired walking. Not the tired that's in physical, but just tired that's in <clears throat> the wood is draining. Mist all over. That shit fake though, cause since I complained about the mist the other day, they extended a little bit. This shit is all fake. All this shit is fake, one. Trust me. Okay. Okay. Word, but yeah, you know how that go, man. I'm just trying to enjoy the walk, but like I said, the mist is fake. They spread that shit. They figure out a way to be mist, misty, a little messy. Sun is usually out by this time, but today. No bueno. Two days in a row. They extended it a little bit, thinking I was going to start recording. I was like, nah. I already see what you're trying to do. We already called y'all out. I always know when people answer my questions, by the actions that they take, that they're guilty of it. So they try to... They try to uh, confuse you by doing otherwise. I'm like, no, that was the setup. You actually answered my questions. By your actions. Thanks for falling into the trap. Anyway. I know you're like, what is he talking about? As long as they know, man. You can fool the rest of the world as long as I know. Niggas be playing with the clouds, man. Shit is fake. It's fake right now. If you play with the crowd, you have a chemical reaction. That's how you get the misty rains and everything else like that. Anyway. Truth be told, this makes you jealous of me, man. And that's just all it is. It is competing with me. <laughs> It's funny, like, uh, I think it's hilarious when people stuck it. But they're jealous of me. They try just, they're trying to kill me and put it on somebody else. That's what they're trying to do on the low type shit. <laughs> These individuals try to kill me and blame it on white people. They try to kill me and blame it on Hispanic people. They try to kill me and blame it on some black people. That's what they're trying to do. They don't want to take um, accountability for what everybody else already know. These individuals, that's what they're trying to do, boy. So good, man. We're going to keep pushing forward. Because we all know it's jealousy, right? I think we already know that. We already know that. I think we already know that. They're just jealous, man. They threw every missile at the kid. I was like, doosh, doosh. <laughs> smacking the shit out of missiles. What movie was that? Where the nigga was just missing. <laughs> Not the Matrix. The Matrix nigga stopped that shit with his hand. Like, you know, there was another one. I think that was a little. It was like the um, X Men, and the missiles was just coming. It was just going different ways. Instead of hitting the target, just going around it. I love that shit. I right think that image itself. I love it. But the Matrix was pretty cool. Where he just stopped all the bullets and just pick one out of the shit. It's like. But I like the Black Panther better. The 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 one with they kept on hit him, hit him, hit him, and he used the same power. He took the power that was was being used to hit him, and the suit that he had on take that um, energy and the blows that you're throwing at him, and he used it against you. I thought that was also powerful too. I ain't gonna lie. Basically the same concept. Feel me? So right now, I'm just walking, enjoying. 
I drank some coffee, but that shit didn't help us. So the truth, it made it worse. <laughs> it did. It just it made it worse, worse. I don't think you want it with them niggas, cause the niggas won't hesitate to street. We on the road, travel across the globe. All my niggas in big and cheap. It's like a funny weather. Like I told y'all, one day's hot, the next day's misty. Can't even see the sun nowhere. And the weather is, you no, know, it's a little cooler, but it's not like chilly, chilly. But maybe because I got caught a lot of stuff on, but my hands always tell me. And it says, it's a little chilly. Eh? So. That's the word the sometimes the word that determine what I'm gonna talk about. Yep, oh, I see them coming. I'm away. These niggas is gay. They're the white boys and Hispanic boys. The niggas will hit you. I keep on driving. Like, oh, I'm sorry. No, nigga. Did that shit intentional. You fucking cruel. That's not even, I'm being too nice using the word cruel, but they use the devil, basically. <clears throat> but here's somebody who, because it was fun to do, because you're adrenaline, you need that rush. I go, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, them niggas love that shit. The fucking satanic motherfuckers. Yeah. And I, you see, you see the rain, right? I hope y'all can see the way I see it in the camera. Shout out, mate. Anyway, it's drizzling a little bit. What you call it? Yeah, I know this because when I t when when I turn around, they be driving closer to the side. But when I turn around, they go on the wider side of the, in the middle of the road. It's like, why didn't you just do that? Because you have to do that anyway. But they don't do that coming. They, it's like, yeah, nigga, you trying to hit me intentionally. Of course, I'm gonna look at the driver, and there's always them too. Always, it never seems to fail. Always. Hey, that's the bird. The bird said, like, "No, no, 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 nigga, you tripping? Yeah, nigga, we chip. Nigga, the fuck is you talking about tripping? Chip, 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 chip. I don't really have a top for y'all today because I didn't." I never think about the topic. I just pick up the camera and open it and just start talking. I've been talking for eight minutes. I really don't have a topic. I just want to just moose out, breathe in and breathe out type shit, you know, simple. While the bird is trying to send me some messages. I'm still trying to, you know, trying to see what he's trying to say to me. Word up. Well, I, at the same time, I'm walking on the tightrope. Well, I'm walking on the sidewalk. So I call it a tightrope. It's like life itself, man. You try to pay attention and hear the messages that are out there for you. While at the same time, you're walking on the tightrope. Feel me? It's crazy. With all the chaos going on from last year to this year is lingering. Seems like we don't even know what what is going to get worse or is going to be decent enough. We know good is not even in the question. We don't even know when normal sees even coming back or is it ever going to come back. You feel me? We're putting our faith in a vaccine that we hope can do the job. There's a lot of things going on this year. If you're all walking on that tightrope, just whoo, 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 hoping that you don't fall off or lose your damn mind in the process. By still being faithful to yourself and taking care of yourself and moving forward, a lot of things going. Shout out to um, shout out to Valentine's Day, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming. Feel me? A lot of niggas don't have no. If you 
Yeah, I can talk about that. So, I mean, if you don't have a job, you shouldn't have a girlfriend. Don't waste your time. If a girl don't have a job, she shouldn't have a boyfriend neither. Feel me? It's more acceptable for girls. But I feel like if you don't have a job, I don't think you should have a... You shouldn't even have time to have sex. You feel me? Because the time that you're taking and you're exhausting to have sex, you could be looking for a job, honestly. You got to look at it like that, bro. Unless you tr- like, unless you know within yourself, I tried and tried, and I just don't have, I can't find one right now, so I got to relax and see what my next move is if I want to start my own business. And you start planning, and that's cool, you know what I mean? We ain't holding you from having sex or anything else like that. But even having sex nowadays is a responsibility. Because anything can go wrong and you're going to have a child. Now you added more problems to what you already, you feel me? What you already are already in, you feel me? It was hard to depend on you for you. You can't even depend on you for you. Now you bring another child to this world to come. And you can't even take care of yourself. So that's going to be very hard to do. So saying things that you don't do on the series, if you don't have a job, don't don't waste your time. Don't even, don't pull your pants down. I used, nigga, it was once, but I had a job and it was hard for me to even get condoms at one point in time. So I could just imagine if you don't have a job, where is the, you more than likely going to have some unprotected sex. <laughs> you feel me? I was using the NYC free condoms. You feel me? Like, this is a true story, B. You know, the free condoms that you get from the clinic and shit. Now I mean, so it was so bad that I was checking the date. It's like I had like a few months for expiration. I'm like, ah, I could definitely use this. I had a few of them. Kind of was tight as hell, but I still put it on. You feel me? Because the NYC, they never have the, they just have the one size fit or whatever. I think it's small and medium, whatever. I'm not saying I'm the biggest nigga, but you feel me? It's not like Magnum, but Magnum is comfortable to wear. You feel me? So. Yeah, so if I had a job at that time and I was struggling, I even when you have a job and you're struggling, I don't think you in that position that I was, I don't think you should be having sex either. You feel me? I don't think it's right. And that goes for the girls too. Girls, if you're a female and you in that position too, and maybe you have kids, you know, the baby father and dad, what else is in you? You feel me? These are the decisions that you got to make for yourself so you do not get caught up in the trap of, um, you know what I mean? Start talking bad on niggas, niggas ain't shit, but yeah, you ain't shit too because you made that decision for yourself, you feel me? You ain't shit, you slept with that nigga, so what does that say about you? So you just got to keep it all the way 100. So a lot of bitches be crying about stuff that they, they are part of. Like, you feel me? You part of that decision, too. Like, it's not like he forced himself upon you or anything else like that. Feel me? You went back a few times. Feel me? So you can't be mad when you pop a baby. Oh, these niggas, you got bitches hiding babies from niggas. You feel me? Shit crazy. That's something that you don't do. Just so when they, a couple of years pass by, you can pop and be like, well, you had a child. What we, and like that. Like, bitches is trifling. All because you spiteful when you're young. Even when you grew up in age, you still ain't think enough. Feel me? This is shit we you talking about. That's some shit you just don't do. Feel me? Another thing you just don't do is, you know what I mean? If you don't like what you're hearing, just change the channel. It's simple. Like, it's not that hard. You know what I mean? If you don't like what you're hearing... This shit is closed, man. Where you been at? <laughs> anyway, if you don't like what you uh, hear and just change the channel, nobody asks you to do it to hear this shit, man. What's wrong, chat? Let me <laughs> feel me. Don't be wasting these bitches. If y'all work at the same place, at least y'all both know y'all got a job together. So, yeah, you can do whatever you want to do with that. But be careful. You don't do dirt where you eat at. Feel me? What's your jacket? Say it again? I left it. 
Oh, so you left it at home? Yeah, I didn't think it was really Yeah, it's tight chilly out here, man. Well, you waiting on the ride? Yeah. I hope it gets here soon, all right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, hello. So, yeah. If, um... Yeah, there's some saying things you just don't do, like, do not. Like, I repeat. Do not. Date a person at your job. I'm just saying, man. If you do do that, I gotta be both mature. I did that a few times. I can't even lie. Know what I mean, you might say I don't give a fuck, and the shit gets serious. I mean, you get to see this person more often than you think. Believe it or not. All right. Gotta put the mask on. No, I mean, once you step into you got to throw that shit on. Hold on, let me check. There's nobody there today, so I got to see. Hold on. I pay attention. The niggas be in the car hiding. I see you, man, and I hear you. Anyway, man, sit here for a little while, then I'm going to go with Niggas be trying to eat off my spirit, but it's not going to work. Anyway. Here we go. Disgusting. Anyway. They said this you just don't do. You just got to be careful. So we get on people at the job. They create problems, drama. You feel me? I did, I did that a few times. I can't rely. I did, you know, I probably do that right now too, but it's not a display. This place is spooky. Spooky. <laughs> this shit is spooky. Right? Like, you don't know who is who in this bitch. For real, for real. Oh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I got a. A thought block, but I'm brainstorming right now. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, this place is spooky, so I would. The chances of me doing that is very slim to none, honestly. But, you know, shit, problems occur. Now, now you're fucking up your money. Now, you don't want people coming in and creating problems, let her know, come into the job with a problem. Nah, we can't, you can't do that. You feel me saying? That, that you can't. Damn, this nigga is from my dick. Like, God damn. Bro, it's raining outside. What are you saying? Like, you can go inside. Look, man, I'm tired. <laughs> like, like, come on, yeah. These niggas is the worst. He's still trying to prove to me that he, he come. No, you don't, man. It's dead. Damn me and drizzling out here. Like, these niggas is the worst kind of niggas, bro. Like, they just don't know when to quit. And nobody believes you. Keep on moving, bro. Fuck, yo. Yeah. He just don't get the message. He's still trying to prove to me that he's always been come. No, man. It's getting ridiculous now. It's literally like drizzling. Not even drizzling. It's kind of like misty. Mystique. Rain. Funny rain kind of rain. Like, you know what I mean? And he's still trying to prove himself. Like, I'm going to sit out here even when it rains. to prove to him that I always know, nigga, you're not outside. Yeah, you see? He got the drip. Go inside. Like, fuck. I'm gonna be next to you and shit. These niggas is the worst, man. I can't. You feel me? Man? The same thing you just don't do, man. You feel me? That's all. I'm not even gonna talk too much about that. I'm just killing time right now until I go in later on. Because I really didn't have much to talk about. I did, but I just had to work on a few things when it comes to brainstorm. I don't really be having a t- uh, chance to do research. I really don't do research until when I'm speaking, then I'm doing it at the same time, you know, just to confirm it, but I really don't. And when it comes to the stock market and everything else like that, the prices of things are going to go up this year, going on to next year. 
the price is not going to drop. It's actually going to go up. The evaluation or the valuation of things is going to be higher now. You feel me? That's why all of a sudden they're pushing it. The minimum wage has been around for centuries. And I'm like, decades. <laughs> but um, now they're pushing it because they know that the valuation of things, the value in products and service and everything else is about to go up. You feel me? They're going to be charging a little extra on things. Taxes is going to go up. Joe Biden is in office. I'm telling you all this shit, so you will not be surprised. So, what they're doing now is trying to say that, oh, we're going to push the minimum wage up so it evens out the playing field. But truthfully, we it's going to be the same thing. If anything, it's going to be a little harder. The only reason why they're pushing the minimum wage up to cover up the differences, especially when taxes go up and you know the food, the prices of your food is going up and everything else. Rent is going to probably go, not probably it's going to go up after the whole pandemic is died down. So we all know the house prices is going to go back up again. You know, niggas going to be raising prices on them almost everything, honestly, because they got to cover up for the losses too. So the only people that's going to be in position where it's not really going to hurt them is the rich people because that kind of money is not really going. They're making money in the pandemic. So you just they're not really it's not really going to hurt. It's going to hurt the average American, the small business and everything. I'm not saying this was meant to eliminate small business or eliminate same businesses, but it happened and they work in their favor and they're taking full advantage of it. You feel me? And that's just what happens sometimes. Certain things do happen. And so people in positions sometimes will take advantage of it. They have the money and the resources and everything else. And they probably plant it. I can't call it, but they definitely are taking advantage, advantage of, uh, of of it all. They definitely are. Like, facts. Like, so prepare yourself, embrace yourself for the hiking of things. You see, I already see it just dealing with it. The stock market and everything else like that. The wife you got in the car, so she good. No, I mean, I, could, I couldn't resist but talk to her. Well, I got to be careful, too, at the same time. You feel me? So the value of things are definitely going to go up. You feel me? I'm just saying. It's true. It's true, true, true. So the minimum wage, you don't know what it's going to be, $11 or $15. Regardless, it's not going to be enough. $18 is not enough. $20 is <laughs> not enough. You're great. You're on great. No. There's no way a person can catch up working $15 an hour to $20. There's no way. Like You, you can't even have other goals. That kind of money is only meant for an individual, for just one person only. You feel me? You can't even plan your own future and everything else like that. They want you to suffer a little bit. You have to go nights just eating noodles just to plan for a vacation type shit. But that shit is not enough. It's not like I can work and put money to the side. Even as disciplined as you can be with rent and everything else and food. And even if you got kids on top of that and other responsibilities, yeah, it's over, man. If you got car payments, insurance, come on, man. Ain't nobody, how can you live on 15? You will need a partner. And even that, they're not promoting. If I'm bringing $15 an hour in and my partner is bringing $15 an hour in, guess what? That's $30 an hour for the two of us that we bring it into the household. That's not bad at all. But if it's just only me bringing $15 an hour into a household, that's that's not that's not enough. But once two people come together and they put their money together, it makes it that much more um, impactful because it's like it's having a it's having a good effect. You feel me? But if it's just one person, sometimes people be like, "Oh, so you want your woman to work?" No, I don't want. My, I'm not saying that. Of course, I want my woman to work. You want your woman or your spouse or your partner to be productive. What I don't want her to do is go working for somebody else. She can work. She can make fifteen dollars an hour working for herself. Now, I mean, doing small business, selling stuff online. I mean, I'm breaking it down to $15 an hour. It doesn't necessarily mean that it could be fixed. Some days it probably could be, you know, more or less. But 
on the average, yeah, I'm going to work for somebody who's paying me $15 an hour. She happens to be at home working. I don't care what you say. She can be a housewife. It's still work. Taking care of them kids is work, my nigga. People get paid for that, so it is work. Feel me? But the both of us has to be working. One person can't just stay there. Like, you feel me? Like, people will be like, you con- you contradict yourself because you're saying that you don't want your wife, but you're always talking about two people bringing in. Yeah, two people have to bring in income. It benefits the kid. Feel me? One, you stretching one person's income for the kid. It's not going to help the kid. The kid gets his fullest potential from two parents bringing in income. You feel me? He doesn't really have to dream too much about things that he could have. Not me. He, he, we get him those things and he moved past that phase of things. You feel me? You feel me? Like, you don't, like, so he don't have to grow up and have that kind of, you know, enviness in him. And when he finally get it, He's buying dumb shit. <laughs> no, by the time you get it, you've already uh, grew that because, you know, your parents took care of that part already. You can get to do something better. You know what I mean? Like, you know, building up the next generation, then the next generation. But if you don't get that shit out the way, it's always good. It's like a girl being a, a little girl who didn't go through that whole stage. I know people be like, the whole stage. But some girls just need to go through the, um, the, whole, the whole stage. Like, you feel me? A lot of some girls want to go. They want to experience. You feel me? That's the key word. Experience. They want to have experience in certain areas. And some fell in love with the act and overdo it at times. You feel me? They just over like, bitch, you're doing too much. You feel me? Have some self-control. Have some stability. You feel me? But some girls just, you know, they, they have some stability. They go through their whole stage. Then after that, they settle down. I'm not saying that you have to go through that stage, but some girls, it's like, it's something that just sit in the back of their mind and they can go through, they can go through life not going through that experience. Then they, here they are, they married, they got a husband, a good man and all that. And guess what happens? Bomb, they're curious now. And that shit creeps up on them because they didn't go through that stage. They were suppressing it. Just go, it doesn't necessarily mean you got to sleep with this person or sleep with that person, but just Find a way to deal with that stage. Find a way. Find your best way. Try to minimize it as much as possible. Don't. Do not try to. It shouldn't be that impactful on your life where it changes you. Now you sucking Tom, Dick, and Harry's Dick, and you fucking this nigga, you fucking that, because you have no self control. You're supposed to go. It's like teenage boys going through that stage of, you know, that masculine, toxic. You know what I mean? Like that, you know, boys boys want to be men and they want to show their power and everything else like that. And they're like, you know, competing. Some of it can be toxic and some some of it is it's supposed to be healthy. But some people overdo it and it becomes toxic where they're being disrespectful to their father or they're just being too competitive with their brothers or they're just, you know, you know what I mean? Some gangs to street violence or street gang and everything else like that. It's part of the same thing. It's just people are expressing it in the wrong way. Yeah, people are, they're just expressing in the wrong way, that's all. That nigga move like a bitch. <laughs> but, um, what you gonna call him? I thought it was somebody I knew. Anyway. Yeah, people be expressing that kind of, that kind of sexuality or whatever in the wrong way or that kind of, uh, that kind of, strength or that if that if in the wrong way you feel me that's why i always say yo don't suppress it like i always tell people do not suppress it because once you suppress it you're gonna be damn near you suppress it for all your life now you 40 and you trying to act like if you're a man you 40 now you're trying to act tough now now it's crazy like because the, the devil knows these things so if they, he knows all the people that have suppressed it so when he comes with opportunity now here you are trying to prove to yourself. Usually, sometimes it's just people try to prove to themselves, like, I feel, yes, I am a man. <laughs> no, no, chill. Like, you feel that's something that you're supposed to go through in your high school days. Like, there's no need for you to be your, your 40, 50, 60, even some 60s, some older than that. That's kind of disgusting, by the way. And you're trying to prove yourself that you are a man to yourself, and you're trying to prove that you're tough and you're strong, and you're doing the grateful, sinister, 
malice behavior. And it's like, nigga, you should have got you should have got that shit out your system when you was in high school. That's why you do certain things when you're young. Like you feel me? That's why I was still when I meet a girl at that around that age, like twenty one, I know I'm not supposed to be doing that. That's a long time ago. 21, 22, 23, 25, at least 25. That should be by then, from 18, 19, all the way to 25. Get that shit out of your system. It shouldn't take that long to 25, but some people start late at 22. Some people start at 21. Some wait until they're 24. You feel me? But when you eat age of 25, it's like, a, you know, you gain to that 30. So it's like you got five years to, you know, start getting your shit together. You know what I mean? Go hard. But at 25, you need to just, you know, stop all that shit. The kid shit needs to be put to the side. You're supposed to have already been working on your shit. And I'm saying this because I didn't get the chance to do it. I know this from experience because I didn't get to have that kind of... My experience started when I was 18 because I came here when I was 18 years old. So most of my life from, from the age of two to uh, 17, I was, I was in another continent. You know what I mean? I was all the way on the other side of the world. So when I came out here, I had to get my shit off. <laughs> you feel me? At the age of, even at 18, I was very skeptical. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. So when I, sometimes I hate the same age. It was like I was a kid again. So it was like me, I had to redo it again because I had to have that experience. Although I had experience in, uh, in another continent, I'm in a new environment. And I had to relearn and rehash that experience. I had to go walk the path of that environment again. You understand? I'm not talking about this environment right now. I'm talking about the whole United States, this continent that is called uh, the Americans. You feel me? When I say continent, I'm talking about the mass land itself, not just a state or you cross a line. No, I'm talking about a whole continent. I was in another continent, then I came to here. So, yeah, sometimes you just gotta get that shit out your system, but like, you feel me? So, when I was lucky enough to have gone to high school here, and I got a lot of that shit out of my system. At the right time, at the right, I just happened to like, Nah, I mean, I feel like you feel free when you do it. Like, you feel me? It's like, yeah, get your, yeah, like, it's the same time where you, you, Jesus came here to die for our sin, right? <laughs> That's funny. But you, so you have that time period to get it out. I'm not saying, like, have balance when you do certain things. You feel me? Just have some balance. You know what I mean? When you're a boy, you fuck as much bitches as you can, but do it safely. You feel me? If you got to go and roll and dip and roll, like, you feel me? Pick the safest partner, you feel me? Because you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to go raw. I was notorious for that. Like, I was. Like, I just, I had to experience everything. I knew I was in this body. I knew the body was an avatar that was like a, re a representation of me. I had that feeling within me, but I just couldn't explain it. So, the human body is just a nervous system. So, it's all about feeling and experiencing and that's life itself. You feel me? You just got to understand that most of the things, the senses and everything else, this place into the senses. Most of the, uh, when you take a look at the human being itself, the human being is here to what? Experience, feel, and live. You feel me? So that tells you that something is operating in the human body itself. You feel me? It's like there's a higher version of you. And your DNA is made out of letters like A, T, G, right? Those are like keyboards. So somebody's literally typing each and every behavior of you already. Like, it's like you are the computer and somebody's typing your every move. And that's you yourself. So me, when I was in, when I was in that position as a young man and everything else, I just wanted to feel everything. I didn't care about anything. I just, I, not, not care about anything. I didn't have no conscience of caring. You feel me? At that time, I just had to. It's not that I wasn't aware of what was right or what was wrong. I just, the conscience didn't come in my mind where it convicted me in that moment when I did certain things, you feel me? Like if I, if you had a fight or I was doing some bitch wrong or, you know what I mean, be jumping somebody or you running the train on this, like stuff, shit, shit like that. It's not like I'm, you know what I mean? Nobody can actually say, oh, so you say you run it and some girl is going to come on and be like, he ran it? No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. I'm just giving examples of things that could have could have happened or had happened you feel me so so all these things i didn't have a conscious of like what if this person had a, a mother or what if this no we wasn't thinking about none of that shit it's like it was my right to experience it basically that's how i see it and everything else so i had to feel i had to feel it 
Because remember, you're a nervous system. Our whole body from head to toe is connected with nerve, with nerves running through our whole body. So which meaning I'm supposed to feel everything. I'm supposed to have fun. I'm, I'm supposed to have experience. I'm supposed to, you know I mean, enjoy. Life is meant to be enjoyed. And of course, the pain itself will teach you lessons and things that you're supposed to do and not do. But it's for the overall benefit of life itself is to enjoy. It. And sex is supposed to be enjoyed. And, and the benefit of sex is a baby. It's for you to recreate yourself, that Adam and Eve. You know what I mean? The whole system of it. We're not even going to go through that. But so when you're in that stage and everything else like that, you just need to just have. Just have full of enjoyment of what you're going through. Now, I mean, don't hold back or anything else like that. You dig? Still follow this. There's rules and uh, there's rules and regulations to everything else. And if I break a rule, if you break, if you come to my house and you break my rule, I have the right to discipline you. So if I'm in this world and I break the rule of this world, who has the right to discipline me? The Creator Himself, which is God Himself. If you, if you, if you. When I, okay, let's not even say house. If you slap me, I have a right to respond and how I'm going to discipline you. If I have a, if we have a law of decency, and I'm like, you can't, you can't, like everybody know you can't do that because if you do that to me, then I'll do that to you, right? So that being said, right, if you break one of my laws, I have a right to discipline you. If you break the law on the land itself, then the people who have been elected. For that land on that land will be will have the right to discipline you, right? If you're in an institution and you break one of their policy, then the people in that institution will have the right to discipline you. So we are in this world, this world itself. The reason why we even had an idea of a law, because of the world itself follows a law. It has a cause and effect, and each animal, plant, and everything else have the law that they abide by without even knowing. You feel me? So if we was to break these laws, that should not kill and everything else, da, 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 and all that stuff like that, guess who has the right to discipline us? Not another person. That's why they said that should not judge. It's, another, it's God who's going to judge you. You feel me? It's God who sees all things. You feel me? Like, God is the prosecutor. He's also the evidence. He is the judge. He is the, the, the bench. He's everything. You feel me? So if he sees all things, you have to, that's how you, this is when I talk about the series of enhancement. This is how you enhance your you have enhance your perspective and enhance your articulation. You enhance your listening. So when you read something, you can see in a broader sense, see it from a different point of view. You feel me? We all have different views, so we just gotta share it and see if you can help somebody else. Somebody else add to what they already know. You dig? But as a young man, I'm telling you, just all young women, get that shit out your system. You don't want to be 40, 50, 60. You got a, you, you, you 50, you got a 20 year old daughter, but yet you're moving like your daughter. Nah, like, cause you didn't get that shit out your system. Get that shit out your system. You th- like, you feel- <laughs> like, cause, cause if you're in that position, you, like I said, you got a young daughter or whatever, they looking up to you, they're more likely to repeat those mistakes because that's what you keep showing them. That's not fair to them because you, you forgot to get that shit out your system and shit like that. I ain't saying be a hoe or anything else like that, but hey, look, a baby has to crawl the wall. That's a journey that you got to take. Sometimes you need that experience to make you, you know, know, you know what I mean? Be a better person, probably be a better pleaser to your husband. And you probably can learn with your husband and everything else like that if you want to. But some people just need that, you know, that experience of going out with a boy, you know, that feeling of, oh, I feel so loved, getting your heart broken and all that stuff. Like, all that shit, get through it. Go, go through it. So you don't have to be married and be curious about it. That's what I'm saying. For men, too. You don't want to be 40 out here acting hard, thinking you're going to punch Jeffrey, and that's going to make you a man. No, it's, you look weak. Because you didn't have the courage when you was uh, when you was a young teenager at that time because you were scared. Now you older, and there's something easy as me, and I'm making it so easy. Now you feel like, oh, oh. Now, you know, no, you weak as fuck. Cause you, you wouldn't have done that if that person was, you feel me? That's that's all I'm saying. Most of these niggas that you see doing this shit, that's because that's cause they didn't have the balls to do that shit when they was in high school. They didn't. They had Some of them, when they did have the balls, they probably was rolling in packs. You feel me? They was rolling in packs so they felt comfortable in being those bad boys at that time. 
but now you 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 graduated already. Like you supposed to be you a father probably. You supposed to be probably grandfather. You are, and you supposed to move on already. But here you are. <laughs> You, you still try to be against them and act like you tough. That shit is, come on, man. It's like, it's so, it's like, you're not supposed to do that. Like you were supposed to been get it out. You were so scared of being you. Now, nah, look at you. Now, nah, you trying to prove yourself to you. I used to think that they're trying to prove themselves to others. Now, nah, I realize that they're trying to prove themselves to themselves. It's like, you lying to yourself now. <laughs> yeah, I got to go, man. That was my cue right there. <clears throat> now you trying to prove yourself to yourself. And it's like, yo, it's too late for that, man. You can't be doing that. Like, you too old for that. Like, let that shit go. <clears throat> I'll holler at you, though. You feel me? It is what it is, you know. Dipset, copper statics, Jim Jones. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm about to go in. I don't know what to call this video. <clears throat> Ventilage. Vintage. Yeah, because, you know, Jeffrey, nah, I don't know what to call it, but I'm going to call it something. I'm going to call it something. All right, let me make a name for it. You know how I do. I always got a name. All right, one.